to continue our inspirational story series, we are joined by Grant Sharman, who, after having an accident on the rugby field at 15, 40 years ago, hasn't let that stop him. He is an amazing mouth-painting artist. He led the Wheel Blacks to victory in the 2004 Athens Paralympics, and so much more as well. Please welcome to the Harvey Norman Lounge, Grant Sharman. Yes. Yes. Thank you for that uh, generous introduction. Ta-da! Drum roll, please. Uh, so you have just been to Europe. Let me get this straight. Um, you've been elected onto the board of the Association of Mouth and Foot Painting Artists. We don't say foot and mouth no. painting artists. Mouth and foot painting Correct. artists of the world. I mean, yes. what does that mean to you? Oh, it means I'm like globally it. You're no, kind so, of a big deal, aren't you? So the, the association is run by, by member artists. Mm -hmm. And so we have a board of seven artists. And yours truly, little old me, I'm one of them now. Oh my goodness, all that power. So only seven artists, you say? Seven artists on the board, Gosh. but globally we have around about 800 artists in total. And what's the it's point of having this? What, what, what do you do as the seven? So the, the, uh, what we do, well, what any board does, really, strategic direction, governance, all that kind of lofty type stuff. Right. Uh, because our business, our, our, our designs, our art, is turned into cards, calendars, etc., and sold. So it's a business, not a charity. Wow. And yeah. of course, hello, uh, modern world, uh, digital media, social media, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, So exactly. we've got to negotiate through that. So, so when yeah. did you start? When did you start painting? So it was 1980, mm -hmm. uh, and my father told me about it, and there was a guy called Bruce Hodgman, big, big guy. Oh, he's a story himself. Anyway, he said, you know, have you thought about painting? And I said, duh, hello, hands don't yeah. work. Uh, and he said, use your mouth. And I thought, oh, maybe head injury. So I had a go, I did my first one, and it's here. So I've got your first painting here. This Let is me the first one. Up. The Tuesday yeah, evening, and uh, when I show it to the kids, I tell them a particular type of painting, and they say, what? And I said, it's crap. Can you say crap on TV? Yeah. Well, you can say bugger, you can say crap, can't you? you? Just <laughs> and um, and yeah, and I told him where he could put his paintbrush. Right. And <laughs> I did another go, and it was awful. I kept doing, and I submitted six paintings to the association. They got rejected, uh, and I got upset. So I sent six more, got accepted, and that was 981. And now this would be this would be one of your most recent ones. This is last this. year, and that is my kitten Zupan who is now a big cat and a pain in the backside, but he's lovely. Oh, that is, like, you've come a long way, and you do this all with your mouth. Yes, I do. That's insane. And this one here, what oh, was this? Oh, it's about nine years ago, but a little teddy. Again, with a commercial idea on a card, etc. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so how has it impacted your life doing this? Because clearly it brings not only a lot of joy, but, um, you know, some great art as well. Yeah, well, it's interesting. I mean, you know, I had my accident when I was 15. I wanted to be a pilot, fly Hercules fly for New Zealand, make a lot of money, retire. A really deep, meaning life plan. Broken neck, that doesn't happen. And I just literally stumbled into the art. And uh, it's given me uh, a life, an income. Um, I've travelled a lot with it. And, and while I'm not a passionate artist, you know, when I, when I painted this fellow, I looked at him, mm. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. You know, I couldn't believe I'd painted that. So after all these years, I still get massive job satisfaction. Oh, I'm not surprised, and I couldn't even do that with my no. hands in my mouth. Well, it's all um, really, isn't it? Because I can't either. But not only are you a painter, you also led the Wheel Blacks to victory in 2004. Yeah, I go careful with that. I coached them. The players would be going, he did what? <laughs> I he did sat that. on the side <laughs> and yelled at us. What, what do you mean he led us to victory? But yeah, no, I was part of that campaign. And look, it, it was amazing. One of the things I say to young people, if ever you get a chance to represent your country, doesn't matter what it is, tiddlywinks, mm. I don't care you grab it with both hands because, you know, I will always see that flag going up. I will hear our national anthem. It gives me goose pimples, it makes me emotional. Mm. And it's just a very special moment that I was privileged to be part of. Mm. And we had a lot of fun too. And a lot of, I guess, moments. What's been your proudest? Uh, my proudest moment? Um, well, a lot of proud moments. Obviously getting married, you know, children, blah, blah, blah. But blah, I was blah, thinking blah. about <laughs> greatest achievements. And I thought, what is that about? And probably the fact I'm still alive. Right. I had my injury in 1977. I was given 10 years to live. Clearly didn't get the memo. Carry on going, I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, touch wood, there's a few years to and go. I think you are. So the fact I'm mm. still alive. And you're also doing this groundbreaking research too with the charity Catwalk. Tell me a little bit about that. So I, I got asked to go on their board. Incredible people. And see, so like I say, 10 years to live. Chance of repairing a spinal cord back then, never going to happen. Mm -hmm. Up until three years ago, I didn't know much about it. The, the research that's going on, it's not an if, it's a when. Wow. Now that's wow. a massive thing and I play a small part on this board. We raise money through Catwalk, through Katrina, who's just amazing, and a lot of people helping. Mm. And, and one day, people will walk. You know, it, it's going to take a while. 
and the initial stuff may just be thumb and forefinger. But as someone who can't use that, yeah. that's massive. It may be blood and bowels, that sort of thing. Things we take for granted. But over time, it'll grow and grow and grow. And I firmly believe one day, one day someone will have a spinal injury, they'll have a procedure, drugs, whatever, and they'll walk away. That's that extraordinary. is brilliant. Mm. Yeah, you are so inspiring. Thank you. Yeah, and congrats on everything that you're doing, not just for you, but for everyone else Thank as you. well. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Um, best of luck too with that cat walker. I mean, that's incredible. Now, if you want to learn more about the amazing research that's being done and how you can help, head to the website, which is on screen right now.